Hello there, my fellow Minecraft player. I've chosen to show you how you set up the simple voice chat mod and implement it into your Minecraft game so that you can play on a server that has it active. This is a proximity chat mod, and let's just get started. First of all, I've included a link down in the description that takes you to this site where you can go in and find the simple voice chat. In my case, and in the server I play on's case, all you gotta do is download the one 0.17-1.4.2. It's this one down, right down here. And all you gotta do is press the download link and then this will start. When we are in here, you might as well download Curse Forge for Windows or Mac, depending on what type of device you're using. After you've downloaded that and installed it, you will find that you have the voice chat fabric thingy up here. And then we go into our Cursed Forge now, as you can see, I have a bunch of different mod packs here, and I also already made one for the voice chat mod. But let's set one up just so we can all understand what is happening. First of all, you got to create a custom profile. Uh, I just named mine uh, voice chat because that is everything that I'm going to be including. Then you take the Minecraft version that you are using. And in our case, the mod was downloaded for 1.17. So that's the one we're going to use. And then we want to put it on fabric, given that that is what the mod is running on. Then we create the preset and it'll load up right here. Then you go into it and you can see Fabric API is installed. Then you gotta go up to these buttons up here and press the open folder. That way you get into the settings menu or into the nitty gritty of the actual mod pack here. Then you open your mods folder and you can see that the Fabric API is in there. And then we just take our voice chat fabric and pull it in there as well. And you can see that it pops up here in the Cursed Forge, which means that it is done correctly. The next time you open up your game, you will find that the Cursed for that the simple voice chat is activated. Now also, if you want, if you are a Optifine user like myself, what you can do is go in here and say add more content because Optifine doesn't normally work with the fabric in and of itself. So you got to find the Optifabric mod, mod um, which is this one, which allows Optifine to work with fabric. Then all you got to do is install that um, and it puts it into the mod folder automatically. And then again, you can go in and find your up to find uh, version, whatever one you're using, and just throw it into this mod folder like we did with the voice chat uh, mod. That is basically all you got to do. Now, next time you load up Minecraft, it'll look something like this. So right here, we are just in the world. And as you can see down in the left hand corner, I have the uh, I have a microphone or speaker um, muted currently. If I press N, you can see that it is a voice activated, which means that people around me now can actually hear what I'm saying. To set this up, you gotta go press V to open this voice chat settings menu. Then you press the settings and you get greeted with this channel right here. Normally it's, it looks like this, uh, where you have to activate it with push to talk. If you want to take that off, you can always press it again. And then you will get into this menu here where you can control the threshold when the uh, voice act then when the voice chat actually starts working if you enable microphone testing you will be able to see where the threshold is between your background noise and your own voice so for example when i press this here you can see that the you can see that the green thingy is right down here meaning that it is below my threshold which means that it won't be activating randomly but when i talk it goes above it which means that the voice activates and people around me are able to hear me if it doesn't show up with anything, once you enable microphone testing, you can go into select microphone. And up here, you can see that I'm using my microphone Yeti X, which is the one that I'm using to speak with. But if that wasn't the case, say I wanted to use my uh, microphone on my headset, I can use uh, I can use that and I just has to have to press select and then it'll use that microphone to talk with in future. I'm gonna leave it at, on my Yeti uh, because that's the one I'm using also. If you are having problem hearing other people, it might be because you haven't selected the correct speaker. In here, you can choose which speaker the, the audio comes out of. My headset has two channels, one for gaming and one for chat. And I chose to put mine on the chat so that I can individually, um, I can individually adjust the volume uh, without having it uh, disturb my gameplay audio. But it is also possible for me to just set it to whatever my normal game audio comes out of. That this is just what I chose and what you choose is completely up to you. As long as it works for you, that's fine. All right, so just to demonstrate that the mod is working, I'm gonna slowly move 
closer to Lacer over there, and as I'm moving closer, you will notice that the sound is getting louder. You can even hear him talking a bit in the background right now. So go ahead, Laser. Yeah. Hello, how's it going, everybody? I'm just here with my friend Sick. Just uh, grooving. Just grooving and schmoovin'. Um, probably going to work on a new game eventually. So be prepared, all you people. And there you go. The mod works perfectly, and if it doesn't work as you intended it to, the a person with access to the server files is able to go in and tweak and tweak the different settings of it so that it works for your need. Anyways, that's all I have, and thank you so much for watching.